Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, ook maar een nieuwe aflevering van Levens Mystery Journey. In de vorige aflevering hebben we deze uh, puzzel gefixt. Uh, en we worden bijna opgepakt door deze politie meneer. You, you found a solution, but your back's up against the wall. You should be floundering. Sorry, uh, I did say I wasn't good at giving up, didn't I? Bye! Stop, Katriel Leiden, stop! Oeh, kunnen we nog wegjieten? Where are you going? The boat is the other way. We can't get away on the boat now. The police will be waiting for us. We have to give up on that idea. Let's head to Bowlin Hill instead. Bowlin Hill? I think I'd rather let the cops get us. I'll, it will be fine. And all the narrow little streets will help us evade capture. Even the police follow us. If the police follow us, it will be much easier for us to hide somewhere. Alright then, if you say so. What are you all just standing there for? After her, I will offer a handsome reward for the first one of you to catch her. Yes sir, very good sir. There's no need to panic, Chief Inspector. But we had her. She uh, was within our grasp and she slipped away. Don't worry, just leave it to me. I have a good idea where Catriel will go next. Rather than chasing her blindly, let's head her off. That's uh, a far more effective plan. Hmm, yes. I like the cheeky way you think, Profetti. So where, uh, where's that murderer ru running, in uh, running to? Oh, it's quite simple. Catriel will try to hide in... Wat een vuile snitta is die, uh, is die Profetti. <laughs> Naar Bowling Hill. Rennie, of fietsen. Nearly there, Cheryl. Um, we've made to Bowling Green at least. But Gnat's whisker. I think uh, I would better stash my bicycle somewhere so the police don't find it. Good idea. It's not like we can go back to the river or Chancellor Lane. Uh, we'll have to lie, uh, lay low. Lie low? Here for a while. Okay. Oh! What is it? The pigs? No, look! That's Hans over there, isn't it? Hans? Yeah. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Detective! So stupid police still haven't caught you. Good. Yes. Uh, we've managed to outrun them so far. Hans, in no small part, uh, thanks for you and your brother. Uh, but where are you, what are you doing here? Working! I fixed that you! Really? I didn't know uh, you did that kind of work as well. Uh, I do all work. <laughs> we do not drink uh, only tea like you British. And you should not be wasting time here. Go into back street um, where it's hard to find you. Yes, that's my plan. I wish you luck. And stupid police don't find you. Thanks, hands. Bye. Uh, so now we head to the dark and dingy back streets of Bowling Hill. Exactly, come along. Ha <laughs> ha I think uh, we can finally lower our guard a little now, Cheryl. Oh yeah, there's no way the police would spot us here. Are you barking? Uh, we're still right out in the open. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Let's head down some of the smaller streets to somewhere less obvious. Alright, now we can pause for breathe, breath. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, pause. Ik snap hem. Uh, the, we should be safe here. Well, safe-ish. Yes, let's just have a little rest. Uh-oh, there's someone there. What? Where? Oh, yes, over there it's... Red man? 
Like a rodent from the gutter, he appears. Crooks and villains terrible, in tremble in fear. The power mouse of justice is here. Da na 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 da na 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 na. Red man. I know that voice. Is it you, Mr. Chance? Mr. Chance, perhaps at first glance, but no, join the dance. I'm Red Man. Sorry, yes, of course. Well, I'm glad uh, it's you, though, Mr. Ch uh, Red Man, and not the police. I was out for a stroll on patrol, looking for a troubled soul, and I would wager uh, I found one, judging on that face so glum. Well, the thing is, the police are after me because they think I murdered Clover Price, the owner of the Lucky Clover on Chancellor Lane. I didn't do it, of course, obviously. That's the pits. Those rotten crits. Accusing of a crime you didn't commit. Haha, <laughs> don't let your uh, spirits fall. I'm well aware of all the deeds you've done, uh, and so are the good people of London. Everyone knows Catrell's Leighton nose, <laughs> Leighton's nose is as clean as they goes. So stand tall, rise above it all. Thank you, Red Man. You've given me the strength to carry on. Good to hear. Have no fear. Sooner or later, you'll be in the clear. Yes, I'm innocent, and I believe that the truth will uh, prevail at the end. Although, being on the run like this, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. Uh, how long am I going, have I going to remain a fugitive? Um, who's looking to prove that I'm innocent? Yes, yes I am. I can't believe I've been so blind. There's um, no one else who's going to prove my innocence. No one else except me. <coughs> Sorry. A bulb lights in the heroine's noggin. Um, the answer to riddle comes at knocking. Yes, Miss Layton, it falls to you, but no one's better at getting out of a stew. Justin will serve in due course. Thank you, Red Man. Na, 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 na. How, uh, so how are you going to do it then, Cat? How are you going to clear her name? By investigating the case and determining uh, who the real culprit was, of course. So we must go straight back to Chancellor Lane. Brilliant idea, and hornet's nests are such fun things to walk into. Uh, if I don't investigate the scene of the crime, I'll never be able to prove that I didn't do it. We have to get inside the Lucky Clover. I know it's dangerous, but it's a risk we're going to have to take. And I think that um, Perfetti dat heel goed weet. Degene die achter ons aan zit. Ha, alright. I don't want to rain on your parade, but your light bulb moment, but it was your light bulb moment after all. Thank you, Cheryl, and sorry you've been dragged into this. I can't have you uh, making exceptions to any mystery solved motto just because the mystery relates to a member of the pack. Um, otherwise, there's no hope of you making any progress um, on the conversational canine case, isn't there? Uh, and anyway, I don't uh, like that Britannius. I just want to bite him. Lol. <laughs> How dare he accuse you uh, of being a murderer? He's really taking the biscuit. So I say let's find the real killer and show that so and so up for being so sure of himself and so wrong. Yes, I am so in agreement with you. Alright then, Chancellor Lane, here we come. We come well steeds dichter bij het antwoord, so to see. Luckily, it wasn't the police then. No, so back to our home territory, yes. I just need to get my bike, Cheryl. Hey, Philippi. Okay, a whole new ball game. 
Get away from the giant ball. It will take a particular route, starting at the uh, top left and going down to the bottom right. If you're hit by the ball or have nowhere left to go, you lose. The ball and the bike move at the same time. On each turn, they move one square. The bike can travel through any squares it has been through before. Oké, okay, dit was niet zo moeilijk toch? <laughs> Alright, nice. Oops. <laughs> that was too close for comfort. <laughs> it was uh, a little more exciting uh, than I bargained for. We have very nearly flattened. Surely the police couldn't have been behind that, could they? Hard to believe that uh, they would such rough tactics, but who else could have done it? It was a bit over the top for the police though. Maybe they're just so desperate to catch you they've lost all sense of what's right and what's wrong. Maybe. Anyway, we'd better be on the lookout for other dangers. Alright, come on then. Let's hurry back to the Lucky Clover now. There's not a police officer in sight here on Chancellor Lane. Well, there's a surprise. Uh, I was sure they would be uh, out in force here, uh, waiting for me to come back. Do you think he's guffing up and trying to catch you? No, naturally not. Uh, Chief Inspector Bertanius? Not likely. He doesn't strike me as a type of giving in easily. No, agreed. He's ducked one alright. Ciao, signorita. Uh, what are you going back? Uh, why are you going back here? Oh, sorry. Uh, I know you tried to help me to get away before. There's just something I need to do uh, at the scene of the crime. But maybe it's been solved already. Is that why there are no police around here now? I wish it had, but I haven't heard anything like that. There were police up and down here the whole street until not long ago. Omdat ze natuurlijk weten dat ze naar de scene of the crime gaat. But suddenly they were all disappeared. Hmm, I see. I wonder wh uh, where they all went. Well, let's not waste our chance to get inside the Lucky Clover, Cheryl. Come along. That is iedereen, Bitta. Iedereen snapt toch dat je terug naar de cream side, uh, the, uh, the side of the crime gaat. Omdat ze weten dat je wil gaan controleren wie het wel heeft gedaan. Hmm, there aren't uh, even any police here in the shop right now. At the scene of the crime, you'd expect that at least one of two plots uh, be here, wouldn't you? Well, this is our chance then, isn't it? Get investigating. Look, Cheryl, uh, do you see the chalk outline? That must be where she was found. Yeah, other than that, uh, you have no idea that uh, it was a murder scene. No, it looks completely normal, doesn't it? The displays and shelves don't appear to have been disturbed. It's hard to imagine that uh, theft was the motive in that case. Perhaps it was someone she knew, someone who held a grudge. That's possible. It would explain why there are no signs of a struggle. That's the hoot that we wanted to buy, sure. That's an awkward place to display our goods, isn't it? Or does it just uh, look high from all the way down here? She always used that mannequin's head up there to showcase her finest arts. Wait, hmm, uh, hmm, wait a minute though. That's a little odd. 
What's odd? Other than the workings of your mind? Well, um, when I came in last night, that head was straight and now it has an angle. Told you, the workings of your mind are, uh, mind are odd. Who remembers something like that? I do, and I'm sure I'm right, because I remember looking longingly at that fairy head yesterday evening. So you're saying that uh, between then and now, somebody tipped the head? Uh, that was what I'm saying, yes. And I can't imagine Mrs. Price doing it. It was So it perhaps was the killer. Alright, I'll take it all back. Perhaps you're on to something. Let's investigate. Don't mind if I do. I just fetched the mannequin's head down. What's that? It's the head dented out of shape. Look! Was it always like that? I don't know. There always a head on it. Uh, so I wouldn't have been able to see. Hmm. I wonder when it got damaged. Zou het niet gewoon naar beneden gejeet zijn door ze dood is gegaan? It doesn't sit right with me. There are no signs of anything out of the ordinary in here at all, other than the outline of a dead body. And if it's relevant, the dent in the mannequin's head. Yeah, if it is relevant. I wonder. Uh oh. What is it, Cheryl? Someone's coming in. It could be the fuzz. Allora, I'm right. I thought you'd be here, Catriel. Ah, Emiliana, just as I expected. Oh, you're expecting me? Of course, you are a professional profiler, you know. I thought you'd have uh, a hutch uh, that I was coming back here. I don't operate on hutches, Catriel. You might, but... Uh, I prefer hard facts and scientific anal analysis. Your profile clearly identified that the fact that you'd have to come to the scene of the crime to investigate for yourself. And will Chief Inspector Br uh, Britannius be joining us? No, he won't be coming. I fed him some bogus information. He's currently investigating some random and completely unrelated location. Ah, I see. So it was you who cleared all the police out of Chancellor Lane, wasn't it? You gave him a false lead. Correct. But don't imagine that I did it for your benefit. At first I thought we needed to catch you in order to get the truth of this matter. But I was wrong. Sorry. Britannius uh, has clearly jumped to conclusions here. He hasn't investigated thoroughly enough at all. His deductions are totally flawed. All I want to see is a proper investigation carried out. No uh, corner cut. Uh, I don't like that. In other words, you think I did it. You don't think I did it. I never said that. A proper investigation is all I said. Well, that sounds a lot like you believe I'm innocent. Va ben. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I do believe you're innocent. That will be based on evidence, not some misplaced loyalty. So, do you have evidence? Um, as a matter of fact, I do. I know what you've been telling that you've been telling the truth. That in itself is evidence. I can immediately tell when someone is lying, you see. It's quite simple, just like in this puzzle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> truth, lies and a box of balls. Four people uh, are talking next to a box with 4x4 four four grid. Let's call them A, B, C and D. A says there are two balls in each vertical line. B says there is one ball in each horizontal line. Okay. Um, C says there is a ball in each of the four corners. D says um, the only person lying here is A. Two of the four people are lying. Okay. Each slot can take one ball. How many balls are in the box in total? Jesus, this is wel moeilijk, denk ik. Okay, uh, four people are taking uh, are talking next to the box. Four by four grid. Laten we zeggen de four by four grid. Wacht. Okay. And 4x4 four four grid. Um, als D gelijk heeft, dan is A aan het liegen. Nee, wacht. D kan nooit gelijk hebben. 
The only person lying here is A. En dan ligt, uh, ligt D dus. Want er zijn er sowieso twee die aan het liegen zijn. Waarvan D er één is. En A kan nog steeds de leugenaar zijn. Maar dat denk ik eerlijk gezegd niet. Dus laten we zeggen dat A gelijk heeft. Dat er twee ballen in elke verticale lijn liggen. There's one ball on each horizontal line. Volgens mij kan dat dan niet eens. Dus zou B en D liggen. Dus dan zou je zeggen dat hier een bal ligt. Daar een bal ligt. Daar een bal ligt. En daar een bal ligt. Die klopt. Die klopt. Dus dan zou je sowieso... Dan zou je acht ballen hebben, toch? Uh, denk ik. Ja, nice. So, you're uh, a walking lie detector, Emiliana. Yeah, I, uh, I see you haven't lost your sense of humor, despite being the focus of a manhunt. Alora, as a favor, I'll show you some investigating data. This is... This is the autopsy report? Does it say she's dead? Let's see. Ah, look at this. She suffered a blow to the head. And bruising uh, to the chest. What does that tell, uh, all tell us? Hmm, bruising to the chest? Yes, that's something of a mystery, I admit. I'm reading this correctly. The chest injuries had nothing to do with the cause of death. Is that right? Yes, it's unclear uh, how those injuries came about. The cranial blow was the clear cause of death. It seems uh, probable that the victim was struck heavily with a blunt object uh, of some... Um, Nog wat is. Anyway, uh, that's all the information I'm able to give you. Thank you, Emiliana. I really appreciate it. Don't thank me. I'm only, uh, I'm only a reason. The only reason I did it was because I can't stand to see anyone falsely accused. And my profiling clearly shows that the culprit in this case bears no resemblance to you whatsoever. Not to mention, not to mention what? Not to mention that, despite our differences, I uh, can see that you're obviously well intentioned, uh, in well intentioned and honest. That's very big of you to say. You're not the killer. Uh, that's what my profiling demonstrates. Uh, now it's up to you to profile, approve my profiling accurate. Goodbye, Catriel. After all that yapping, it turns out the perfect uh, storm is on our side. Yes, and she's a very viable ally. Uh, the real puzzle is now that bruising on Mrs. Clover's chest. How did uh, it get there? She died here in the shop from a blow to the head. No signs of a struggle. The dented mannequin uh, head on top of the cabinet and the bruising on the victim's chest. Aha, uh -huh, I wonder. Kat weet het alweer hoor. Case completing. Yes, of course. Now I know exactly what happened here. You do? I do. And I can prove my own innocence. So, why was she killed? Uh, that's what she got me scratching. Scratching my head, I mean. I uh, haven't got fleas. <laughs> the person with all the answers will be here soon enough. All we have to do is wait. The killer's coming. Here? Hello? Catria Layton. Here you are. Now I've got you. Uh-oh, he's cornered us. Ah, right on cue. Good. Miss Layton. Cat! Is it you who's got me or the other way around? What? This mystery is history. Yes, the orchestrator of this plot is someone driven by extreme jealousy. Jealousy of my success. Isn't that right, Chief Inspector Royal Britanni? Oh, please. You're behind all this, aren't you? You're the one who set me up. No. 
And I, of course, am innocent. <laughs> what do you say, Cat? The Chief Inspector? Really? Are you off your rocker? Explain yourself. The two of you have always competed with one another for success in your careers. But you've been losing more and more ground each day recently, haven't you, Chief Inspector? So you concocted an elaborate plan. What plan? When you found out that Inspector Hastings was benefiting from my puzzle-solving skills, you started thinking. You decided to frame me for murder and discredit your rival as someone who solicits the help of criminals at the same time. She's got it wrong, hasn't she, Britannias? I, I thought it was always just friendly rivalry between us. How could you do something like this? I, I mean, murder? Uh, let's not jump to conclusions, Inspector. Your colleague may be a right royal pain in the Britannias, but a murderer <laughs> he is not. You've lost me. Nurse Price was trying to fetch down a mannequin's head from on top of a cabinet. Unfortunately, it fell on top of her, striking her a deadly blow to the skull. But you said Britannia's planned it. How could he have planned that? You have the order of events in reverse. The chief inspector was the person who discovered Ms. Price's body. It was only afterwards that he conceived of this whole plan. You really wanted to get ahead that badly? I was born with nothing, you know. Absolutely nothing. For me, power and prosperity is the be-all and end-all. If you beat me to the top, I'd be a failure again. A nothing. A nobody. It was the extent of the bruising on Miss Price's body that mystified me at first. But it was because of how hard you tried to resuscitate her. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> Poor woman. So I think that proves it. A merciless competitor? Yes. A murderer? No. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hastings? I suppose that just about sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The incident involving Mrs. Price was very sad affair all around, but the people of Chancellor Lane came through for me. Thanks to them, I was able to clear up the false ac accusation of murder for which I was uh, heinously framed. Uh, I'll never forget the faithfulness of everyone who stood by, the, uh, by me so loyally and believed in my innocence. That's fine. And we save the progress. En dan is de eerstvolgende die we gaan doen de allerlaatste. Niet de laatste aflevering, maar wel de laatste die we gaan solven. De laatste case die eraan komt. Bedankt voor het kijken. Adios. Amigo. Hey.